and this development we feel would be good for the region. But we have been taken by surprise by your proposal that you circulated and that we looked at because that provides for no road at all for that part of the set of negotiators around this table, that faction, that would actually be your biggest support. So we'd like to hear from you on that as to why there is no room for a unionized workforce in the port at all. I mean, given practical realities, I don't think there's any other example that you could quote or any other port that functions with a non-unionized workforce, and especially when people have homes here, mm -hmm. when people have an investment here, then to keep out your local community of union workers without any logical reason towards it makes us feel pushed back and we're reaching out a hand in friendship. And I'm glad you brought that up. It goes beyond the scope of our mission as a part of the DCR, but certainly I think the latter point that you brought up is really impressive, and uh, I couldn't agree with you more about the union involvement, you have to bring something to the table, obviously. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I agree. Not just some custodial arrangement where we do the minimal kind of input. I think it's necessary that we do, um, we have some robust efforts in this area. So I, I'm, I'm looking at, um, you know, the practices in terms of what we've offered, you know, some, you know, I, I think that we're looking at improving the ecological setting, not just repairing it, and not just saying, do no harm. Okay, we're going beyond do no harm. Okay, we're saying that it should actually be improved. And I think with that balance, it's really great because we've already uh, agreed with industry coming in as a mixed industry to actually improve the employment. And then on the other side, we're doing something that actually follows through with, we're gonna improve the ecological systems that are along this coast. Ooh.